Hi everybody, welcome to Whiskey Mystery. I'm Phil. And Viva. And Pete Head, <laughs> guessing, <laughs> guessing in early. We Beastie is not yet in the spreadsheet. But you know, Pete Head picked our blind bo bottle from last week and we hadn't had Pete for a while, but we forgot to give you your fireworks for, for guessing. <laughs> so let's start off with some fireworks for Pete Head while we um, work out what we're gonna do. So where is the timer? For the next 12 minutes, we are going to work our way through tasting blind bottle number 91 out of 200. Let's see what we're going to get. Mm. So pretty light, isn't it? Pretty light. And we can confirm. Yes, Pete it head. is peat. <laughs> Not, I mean, yes, it is heavily peated, but... But in more of a sweet freshness. Yeah. I mean, it's quite young and fresh, isn't it, overall? Let's do the water pour, though. Uh, uh, fresh barley. Fresh barley. Let's, uh, let's add some water to this little sample. We'll see if that's going to... Oh, what glass have we got? It could be... <laughs> that's funny. Could it be a Kilhoman? Could be, couldn't it? Right, let's get into some of, notes. Um, a fishing net. A fishing net of the sea. You're into fishing nets already? That's not a major point though, is it? No, no. Let's go over the basics. I've got the, I've got the watered down one. I mean, it's quite a sweet peat, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Not medicinal. Fresh. Not medicinal. So probably not a Lafroig. No, I'm not getting gummy stuff. Well, I get a bit of plasticine on this watered down one. Plasticine is, mm. you know, an oil based modeling clay in the UK. I think on this, what do you get on the full, full strength? Oh, I've got the empty glass. It's more, there's more barley. It's more malted, malted barley, isn't it, on this one? Mm, oh, yeah. And also, it's a, a, a bit of damp garden shed. A bit damp garden shed? Like, well, Dunnage, Dunnage Warehouse. Oh. Yeah. Is that what you mean? I'm going to have a little sip. I'm going to have a sip on the 50% water version. Still quite strong flavours, but it could just be because it's first sip of the day. A little wow, bit toasted. Oh, the flavours. Yeah. Funny, but there are no distinctive flavours. No distinctive flavours. I mean, it's quite simple flavours, right? We're not saying to, we're not being very helpful here. Let's. I mean, uh, it's not, I mean, it's not very peated. Okay, but it is more, oh, it's not very peated. No, okay, let's not. just have a sip on full strength and then we'll guess, try and make a guess at what the ABV is so people can start noodling on the spreadsheet. Oh. Even not that strong. I was going to say the opposite. Oh, that's powerful compared to the watery one. Mm. Oh, no, I'm getting yummy beet. It's beautiful beet. Oh, but the pepper. The it is quite peppery, but it could just be the strength, right? Let's see what we're going to get on strength. And now I the Let's see. That's quite a lot of bubbles. Whoops. Could it be 46? I think it's going to be higher. That definitely looks higher than 46. So I think that means uh, Kilkerran is out. <laughs> 48. Okay, that's closer. Although it looks like it could be stronger than that, right? 50. Okay, those bubbles are looking pretty close. Let's go one higher. 56 is my next step up that I've got. I think those 56 bubbles are bigger. So somewhere, I think, somewhere in the 48 
to 50. Uh, because that's what's up. Low 50s. Uh, I'm saying, it's all, the finish, the finish is beautiful. But that's, that's, oh, it's all, I mean. Long and enjoyable. Okay, so the finish so is good. It, you're going to have to do it all the time. You get give it a gap. I think it's all, but whatever it's if you come out, I throw it. I'm getting a little, wow, the peppers are a bit too much yeah. for me. But after that, people in the bar back. Like it, it's sweet at first, but then, you know, I was getting, um, where's my picture? I was getting a lot of barley. I don't think there's anything whiny in here, but maybe a tiny bit, but the pepper is kind of a bit overpowering. It's almost coming across like this at the moment. A lot of, a lot of spiciness. Now, is it just that it is young and spicy? Or is and it fish? I don't think it's old, is it? No, no. But um, I'm getting stuck for poem, savoury. Yeah, savoury. Thick. A bit shortbread. Yes. Stuff of the oven. So slightly bitter cereal. Pepper is less now that I've had a few sips. Mm. But fine, spiky pepper. Relatively short finish, except for the power. I'm not really getting any barrel influence. Like I'm, I'm not tasting very oaky, woody things. I don't think I'm getting anything sherry or wine. Maybe the tiniest of hints. Ooh. Um. It does not ever shock. It's big as well. Well, we've had this before, though. Remember when we had Port Charlotte? heavily peated we were like oh this is pretty mild peat mm. and i was sort of having the same feeling it's pretty mild and i thought but maybe it, it could be a port charlotte heavily peated i actually wanted to compare i'm gonna jump in with a comparison for a minute peat monster also not very monstrous peat and it's only 46 percent i'm really sure the finish from you it and I just wanted to see, because I like Peat Monster a lot. And where is it? You can see we actually have a second bottle. Okay, there's much less peat on the nose on this compared to 91. Oh yeah, that's much more rounded, isn't it? Integrated, a lot less spiky. Is that from a broom, a brabble? Yeah, it's had all the edges polished off. But that's what I liked about Peat Monster. Mm. But yeah, I'm getting more smoky in that one. Was that Peat Monster? I think. Yeah. Okay, so that is it? Is this better than Peat Monster? I, I think I prefer this. Let's see. It's the first shelf comparison. Because I'm getting uh, that um, mm. fresh sweetness of battery. Yeah. It's beautiful. The maltiness is coming through. But, oh, the pepper, though, is kind of taking a but mark down for me. But for me, it's like, or, I like it. And then I have to kind of grip my teeth a bit while that pepper spice. I have to put it back up for me. Then it's back, it's back. I said, and again, ah, mm. it's sort of finish. Okay, are we ready for the spreadsheet? No, actually, let's confirm. I think that is, I don't know if it's alcohol burn or if it is pepper burn, but it seems quite high. I'm gonna have a little sneak peek. Okay, I'm seeing a five. First letter of the ABV. I always say letter. First number of the ABV is a five. I need it more after the five. So it's something in the fifties. You know, that, that rules out. Lafroig 18 or Compass Box No Name. But these are not. These are not 50. Oh. These are just under. But oh, you know what it does mean though. You have a look at the spreadsheet in case there's any others up here. But we've got two Kilhomans and we've got and we've got two two Port Charlottes. Oops, <laughs> just crashed. <laughs> I just crashed the mic. Um, and if we scroll down to the 50s, we know it's not a 48 now. 50. 
Kilhoman, Kilhoman, Port Charlotte. Uh, Port Charlotte, Port Charlotte. It could be up here. No, 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 no. Oh, I think we're definitely, I think we're in these four, aren't we? Shall we confirm? Hang on. Let's just confirm. What's the second number on the ABV? 50. Okay, people. It is Kilhoman versus Port Charlotte. It's, it's beat. <laughs> is Kilhoman peated? Deepa? Yeah. We've been to the distillery. We have walked the floor. We have seen the peat. How can you ask such a question? I mean, not a monster. Kilhoman is typically about half the peat level of Ardbeg, I would say. Port Charlotte is supposed to be higher, but you know, they make Octomore and we have found Octomore to be not that peated no. on the few samples we've had because who knows what makes it through the dis I distillery. I remember probably about the, the, about the music track at this one and we got not that every bead. So, oh, I go, I go for this one, we got fresh. I, uh, what would you do? Are you putting it down? No, no, yeah. Let's leave it up there. What What would you expect the difference to be between Port Charlotte, you know, Brook Laddie, or Kilhoman? I don't remember this, and the theme is beat, and there is more beat. Mm. And there is more beat. So therefore, I'll go for this. More peated than Kilhoman. I also expected the Kilhomans to be more malty, more richer malty barley. But there again, this is Isla Barley, our old favourite. Oh, but yeah, I'm about to get fresh barley as well. Oh, we got 30 seconds. <laughs> I'm thinking one of these, the eighth edition, I think has sherry in. So I'm going to take that one out. That's not going to be my choice. We had this on the malting floor, and if it is this, I'm going to be disappointed because I expect this to be a richer, deeper. So I guess I'm in Port Charlotte world as well. Mm. Time's up. Port Charlotte 10 or Isla Barley. All right. Because of Isla, I expect this to be more sweet. Let's go to the chat and see what everyone else is thinking. Hi everybody, how are you doing? <laughs> I'll do a quick scroll up, see if I missed anything at the beginning. Hey, Anuj was first in today. Alan's in as well. Oh, nice. Hi, Alan. Ah, oh, good to see that Pete Head is in. Oh, you were going for. That's right. You were going for the wee beastie, Pete Head. Anyone asking me questions? I don't think there's a... Last week, you poured it in a Kilhoman glass as well. Is it a spoiler? Peathead. Apparently, we have now said it's not. <laughs> so, so Peathead, what type of peat do you like? <laughs> what is your favourite peated whiskey? Evening all. Plasticine always makes me think of Le Jague, Precarious Dave. Yeah, but it can't be today. You know, I always get a little bit of plasticine left over if we... Uh, you don't have to yeah. I'm not getting any back. I'm just showing it's very warm. Thick. Lucas is saying Kilhoman is boring. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, we could. No, many times you see the ick. Go up of the ick. Legs. Okay. Yeah, we haven't had legs for a while. This is just an excuse for, for Deepa to. Let's see. Hang on. We'll leave that there for a second. Should we compare to anything else before we go ahead? Before we reveal, I think we should compare to, let's compare to Ardbeg Supernova. We'll leave the legs up while we do this. Ardbeg Supernova is up on the top shelf and it's a little bit stronger. <laughs> Just leave that there, it's okay. Um, no, it's okay. People are looking at the legs. Is Ardbeg Supernova better? Oh, more power. Oh, wow. Oh, I like Supernova. Okay. 
So it's we got a very thick viscosity. There's more depth, but there, there's quite a bit of spice power in that art bag as well. Okay, one more sip on the port, port Charlotte. <laughs> one more sip on the presumed Port Charlotte, number 91. Does it taste like Isla Barley? It's also good. Right. I think I'm here. I mean, no, after the brief supernova, maybe spending but then just different. Yeah, there's no way Supernova justifies its prices. Greg's Whiskey Guide, you're saying uh, Octomore, I think, but it is a 50%, 50% even, so it can't be an Octomore. Right. And that's Springbank, because there's no funk in it. It's not Springbank, because we don't have a 50% Springbank. Oh, yeah, but it's not, there's Doesn't no matter. Funky. If it's not 50%, it's not it. Okay. Are we ready? Ready. Peated. Oh dear. Favourite peated whiskey. Definitely not always the same, of course. Oh, you like the Bonnehaven Moignas? Yeah, hard begs, of course. Right, well, let's find out what it is. Ready for the reveal. <laughs> Here we go. It's 50%. It cost us... Oh, it's six years old. Hang on, is that a kill hole? So uh, then... Uh, uh. Six years old. It costs $61. Oh. It is an Isla. It is Port Charlotte Isla Barley. HP, HP, oh wait, is that, hang on. It is this one, right? Heavily peated, oh, I see. Hey! <laughs> I think that is one. Oh, another the one moment, for Deepa. The moment after the first tip, I was getting the fresh office battery. So I, I have battery. You know what's interesting here, though, 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 is we have Isla Barley up here, but Isla Barley heavily peated. We have actually probably got more light down here. Because, I mean, I would prefer the Tobamori. I think we got the pepper. Got the pepper. Hang on, we have. What about the bow more? Is it better? Uh, what well, I was about to do something with that. What was I about to do? I oh, know it's alright. Is it? Do you prefer the bow more or the Isla Barley? Now it's an independent bow more. Oh, oh that's I quite nice. More. I uh, more food in it. 16 years old. This one is pretty straightforward. It's more like cream, a beet. There are no fruits as a flavour in it. That's why. It's pretty more Oh, you know. But I could have to finish mm. for more. I'll just put that there. I think I might the, put the, the Isle of Barley ahead. That's better. What I wanted to do was I wanted to compare Isle of Barley with Isla Barley peated because you would have thought Isla Barley with peat would be better than Isla Barley. But um, this is the 07. And we have it all the way up here, oh, remember? It's creamy. Creamy? Does it taste the same? Creamy, but I think it's more sweeter. I think it's sweeter. But that is more farmy, thicker, Can you taste the Isla Barley under the peat? So this is the peated. This is the Isla Barley. I don't know. Yeah, it's got that sweet. They both have the sweet cereal underneath the peat. But this seems a slightly bit more hollow. Uh, that, that one. A bit more hollow? And more in it. There's something more in that. Okay, that does taste quite familiar. Hey! <laughs> Swami! Thank you very much, Swami. Let me push the button for you. Hey! <laughs> Here, Swami. And that means we're going to put you in the... Whenever we do a next draw. Malted. Montreal. I'm going to... I'm going to throw you in the draw box. 
Cheers, Swami. <laughs> we'll have to do something on Tuesday. Okay, Isla Barley. Oh, pretty good. So, put it, put. You know, that's funny. I wasn't completely sure which one was which, and I thought, well, the one with the peat will obviously be that one. It's not jumping out now. The peat is not jumping out. No, I, I, I thought so. It's very mild. I'm getting more to battery. It's funny. Peat has the, peat smoke. Smoke has that thing of disappearing after a little while. So put it, put it. Now it just comes across as a bit of an extra earthiness. I think it's going to go up on the top shelf. It's going to go up near Beaumore somewhere. Somewhere up there. We'll sort it out later. Ooh. Oh, quite a bit of... But that still means that we prefer the Isle of Barley unpeated. Mm, maybe it's just the 07 being special. Let's go back to the chat. Let's catch up with everyone. Let's see. Oh, it's Bishop Burnboy in. Where are you? Actually, let me come out of the chat. Bishop Burnboy, I just wanted to... Let's raise a, gra a glass. Bishop Burnboy lost a friend last week and we missed it in the comments. Mm. And amazingly, it was right at the beginning of the show and he was saying about how that friend was a big fan of Glenn Farkless. And it was <laughs> it was the Glenn Farkless show. And so, cheers yeah. to your friend, Bishop Burnboy. <laughs> and Farkless fan. Hmm. Good to see you in. Right. What questions have we missed? Who got it, by the way? Uh, you need to be faster to beat deeper to the fresh glass. You're right. <laughs> I need to have one. I need to be holding it down. Uh, Bishop Burnboy, did you get it? Uh, let's see. Yes, let's have some subscribes and likes. Good suggestion there. Reminded me to push the button. Teddy KGB's in as well. Right. Well, someone... Oh, Greg's Whiskey Guide saying, you need a good Port Allen to go even higher on the shelf, guys. Yeah, and a full wallet. Port Allens, they can't live up to the prices now, can they? Okay. I'm going to have to go back through the comments. <sighs> it's the, Who? Uh, it's the, uh, the best finish of the of all. Which one? For Charlotte. Oh, you're the liking finish. it more? No, no, more. It, it, the finish oh, it be the best. The finish is good. So it's again that we do tend to like the younger whiskies. But, but I'm a little bit for it here, so it's a finish, but it, oh, it's just there. And that's why I'm impressed about it. Just, sorry, I was just reading the chat. Okay, Swami, looks like you have been volunteered to pick. I don't, I don't know, uh, I don't know who's been in the guessing order. Swami, do you want to pick us a bottle? You just say top shelf. Bottom shelf, deeper side, my side, or make some other description that you like. So, hang on a minute. This, let's have a look at this bottle. We bought this a while ago. March, we bought this in March of 2019, uh, $61. I wonder what the current price is. This is the 2008 version, apparently. Oh, Samuel Cast. Did you get it as oh. well? Whoever, whoever gets, whoever gets there first, just say top shelf, bottom shelf, deeper side, fill side. Swami or Samuel Cast, just go ahead. Whoever gets their instructions in first. I like, um, I like that Port Charlotte gives all the details on the bottle. So this one was 2008 Isla Barley. Oh, that's interesting. So 07 Isla Barley, then the 08 Isla Barley went into this. 
because the next one unpeated is 09, isn't it? So there is no 2008 Isla Barley. That's because it all went into um, being peated. And it came from one, two, three, four, five, include uh, six, six different farms, including Rockside. So, um, and Rockside has now been bought by Kilhoman, I believe. It's the farmland around Kilhoman. Deeper Topside. Oh no, Multi Multiple got in first. <laughs> Deeper Side. Glen Allocky 12, because I enjoy it. Well, we're actually picking another blind Swami. So I think you're both guessing the same side. So, right. Deeper, pick a bottle, your side, somewhere on the top of the shelf. This is going to be number number 92 92 and I'm just going to call it I'm just showing very sudden understated peat smoke Underst understated peat smoke I'm calling it Swami Samuel because you both got to go it doesn't mean. encourage you to keep drinking yeah. <laughs> oh, you need a gap for all like the heat. No, to, no, no, to go because down. I'm sorry to finish so much. I see. So it gets to space out a little bit. Look, we've got a whole bottle. That's quite oh, exciting, isn't that's it? Oh, nice. Right, let's see what the new one's going to be. But I've got to buy it again. I'm not sure Is it about good that. enough to buy again? $61 is a good price. Considering how close we've put it to Ardbeg Supernova, which is like two or three hundred dollars. Yeah, Right. Looks like we're going to get the Cavalan glass. Oh, I've left the chat up again. Hang on. Someone pick a bottle. Yes. Get my graphics. <laughs> right. Oh. Are we going to get something sherry or something clear? Here we go. Well, medium dark, isn't it? Medium dark. Hmm. Okay. It was Bishop Burn Boy. <laughs> we get first. Yeah, Bishop Burn Boy passed it on to others. <laughs> right. Swami Samuel's bottle. We will be finding out what that is on Sunday. <laughs> Had to double check. Oh, Roy is on today. Aquavite after this. Uh, he'll be trying to do a live from the driveway of his recycled review, which <laughs> he, should be fantastic. He, 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 he. Don't think I'm getting any peat. Could be a lot of things. <laughs> Lucas is saying it'll be hard big 10 next time. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's a good one. Where would you put it on the shelf? <laughs> we will see you on Sunday. Thanks all for, for joining. I'm going to have a little sip. <laughs>